How's it going? This is Josh with Gromax, and it's been two weeks since I've started this experiment. Now each week I've been treating this one with a 2020 20, a 958 8, and also 2020, but half the amount that I've been putting on this one and also adding carbon one to it. So stick with me and I'll show you the results and close-ups of how these are performing. Now, if you wanna see last week's video after it's only been a week of growth, you can click above and watch that video as well as the original video of when I started this experiment. You can also click above and watch that one if you'd like. So you can see the 958.8 starting to catch up with the 20-20-20, but carbon one is significantly out competing the other two. Look from the top here, you see the 20-20-20 still a little bit thicker than the 958 -8. And the carbon one is with all that new growth is just really nice and thick in there. And if we take a closer look at the root structure, you can see there's quite a bit of fluorescent green, new shoots coming up. Uh, still about the same here, but as you go over to carbon one, I mean, look at all those new shoots and uh, new roots down here. You can see this new root here. We're starting to get these roots starting to calm down through here in the soil here. I'm not really seeing that in the others. One thing you notice, look how much more thatched and old Grass, it's still lingering and not breaking down in these two. Seems like there's a lot less here in the carbon one. One thing that you get when you use fertilizer too is you're adding salts to the soils, which basically shuts down microbial and biological activity because it's uh, your salinity is too high. And so you won't get a lot of that breakdown of the thatch and the organic matter buildup um, when you use uh, just regular fertilizer because of the salts. But with carbon one, you're actually feeding the microbial life and you're gonna start seeing the, the dead growth and the thatch start dying and breaking down a lot quicker. So that's just another benefit um, of using carbon one um, that I wanted to mention, so. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this grass as well. So I'm probably gonna cut it to about maybe an inch above the top of the the clear planters here. Um, so then we can start really seeing the difference how it's gonna look once you start cutting it. So stay tuned um, for till next week when we'll see the results after another treatment. Now that it's been two weeks, I've gone ahead and cut each one of these to about an inch above the top of the clear planter box. There's one thing that I noticed that I also wanted to show you. As I was cutting these, I noticed that over here, the one that's been true with carbon one has really filled in all the way to the edge quite nicely. Um, because when I planted these a couple weeks ago, you know, the sides get a little damaged. And so on these other ones, you know, on all of them, there were these kind of gaps along the edges. And I'm still, there's still those gaps here on this 958.8 as well as this one with 20-20-20. There's these big kind of gaps from planting them in these clear planter boxes. But on the carbon one... It's really filled in along these edges, nice and thick. 